It's no secret that Kenya Moore has been a legendary peach holder on The Real Housewives of Atlanta since she first stepped foot onto the scene during season five, cementing her place as the show's most outspoken villain. Hey, you have a nice day. Okay, okay, okay. bye Portia. Okay, bye Ashley. And now, after all these years of being the one that we love to hate, it's starting to feel like Kenya Moore might be considering walking away. I know how to walk away. If I'm not happy, if I don't like the way things are going, I'll just say, it's not working out. Thank you, thank you for your time. You can stop saying that shit. I know that. I rebuke all the spirits that's in here in the name of Jesus. It's Justin Diego back with another binge-worthy video. And I've been peeping for a while now that Kenya Moore doesn't look happy on The Real Housewives of Atlanta anymore. So today, let's talk about how her latest interview with Carlos King has left me completely shook. And I will clean up the mess because, you know, th th that's labor laws right there. Okay, now, before I even start, I just gotta be clear and say that Kenya Moore has never said that she's leaving, so Team Toro, calm down. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> it's my job to just keep my ears to the streets and try to peep what's going on and figure out what I think might be happening behind the scenes. And all I'm saying is, it's very clear to me that Kenya Moore is unhappy with the show right now. And after this interview with Carlos King, I'm pretty sure that the network is blowing up her phone. Okay. There is so much tea that was spilled in this interview, y'all, that I am still kind of gagged. Kenya and Carlos definitely piggyback off the momentum of the Nene Leakes interview, and y'all, it was so good. Starting first by trying to show us the real Kenya instead of that villain character that Bravo keeps trying to make her out to be. Yeah, well, that's, that's the whole reason why I appreciated the top of our conversation, because is allowing people to see the real you because they only see a chopped down version of it. And what the editors choose to show. <laughs> and right away, I was like, okay, I guess this is going to be one of those interviews. Allegedly. <laughs> As we're seeing this season, allegedly. Uh, hey, flashbacks. Because we all know that some of these girls be so disgruntled and upset and pissed behind the scenes, but not everybody is always gonna speak on it. And it's like, for what? You, you, you're killing me. Yeah. What is the point of it? What is the end result of that? What is the end game? But Kenya, she was definitely being real bold with the shade and she is so tired of being misunderstood and underappreciated by Bravo. People think you are mean, a bitch, vicious, a villain, evil. You know, and I think you are by far the number one most misunderstood reality star. None of those words is what I use to describe you. If you follow what's going on with The Real Housewives of Atlanta on social, you already know that this clip of Kenya's interview with the king definitely went viral where Kenya Moore gave Nene Leakes her props for being the star of RHOA and doing her thing to make the show pop. I mean, come on, that's easy. That's Nene. Nene. I mean, come yeah. on. Nene is that girl. And I mean, she was the yin to my yang. She was feisty, funny, effed up at times, crazy at times, a real friend at times. Like, she was all of those things. But Kenya couldn't even let Nene have it. And before I knew it, she had done read both Nene leaks and the whole damn show before she could even finish that same sentence where she was giving her props. Do you agree with her when she says she built the house? She built the house, but it got four clothes going. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> well, who took she over the deed? She didn't pay the bills. <laughs> who took over the deed? <laughs> well. <laughs> And y'all already know that the comments were off the chain with Housewives fans living for the shade hollering. See, this is what we love about Housewives. They can be so sexy and classy and then throw a backhanded read out of nowhere. I was into Kenya giving Nene her flowers and then I screamed when she said that the house was foreclosed on. True to Kenya, the slick reads out of nowhere before more fans started reading between the lines talking about, oh, 
Well, that explains the ratings, right? <laughs> and another fan responded talking about, well, we know the show is on the way to foreclosure because the show is not what it used to be. So you right, girl. Before this one fan definitely started stirring the pot commenting. But like Carlos said, who has the deed? No one. So if it foreclosed on them, Nini was right, it tumbled down. That wasn't a good comeback. It just proved that Nini was right. Duh. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, I raised concerns a few videos back about how both Candy and Kenya have not been getting the best edit. And I remember being shocked that Kenya Moore was liking shady tweets about production and slamming them for their editing choices publicly. But in this interview with Carlos King, she definitely did not hold back at all, at times shading the powers that be with her whole chest. When you were starting out, um, not auditioning, so I want to explain to people how it works. How, well, it how it worked, worked back then. 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 Because yes. now anybody could get on Housewives and um, your rehearsed reads and being prepped and having a battery in your back. Yes, King and Moore and Carlos King went in about how RHOA has lost its prestige and how it's giving everything but what it's supposed to give. <laughs> but it's really for these new girls to wind them up yeah, like a rag doll and... Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot my line of questioning. <laughs> Y'all, I was really, really shocked by this because, to me, it's giving up behavior. You can't be shading your employer and, like... <laughs> <laughs> Mumbling and cackling about how your own show is a flop? Unless... Unless you're over it. <laughs> what a mess. After that, Carlos and Kenya went in even harder about Bravo's recent decisions on the Atlanta Housewives reunion seating. It makes my stomach turn. Every time I watch a reunion mm -hmm. and you're not in the first seat. Yeah. It makes my stomach turn. Yours and mine both. Okay, okay, well let's talk I had about this it. this conversation with them before. Now this is where I got activated and this is the kind of op behavior that I can actually stand behind because I feel like Bravo has been gaslighting us for years. Acting like the reunion seating arrangements don't mean nothing when we know it does because we not slow. And yeah. I was like, you would never move me seat. Even, and don't tell me it's about story. It's not. Because because at the end. It's not. It, it's not. It's not about story. Okay? It's about who are the leads of the show. Y'all, I was so happy that both Kenya Moore and Carlos King, who was a former Real Housewives of Atlanta executive producer, literally confirmed that we are not crazy. When we see our faves moved further and further away from the host, that means something. And depending on how you look at it, sometimes it kind of means everything. I think it's a mistake. And Do you think it's a message to you? <laughs> <laughs> if that's the case, then every season they do that is a message to me. I mean, the message is maybe my time on this show has been as valued as it should have been, as it should be. Woo, y'all, this tea is piping hot and I'm like, <laughs> Did I say that out loud? Did I say that out loud? <laughs> Did I say that out loud? <laughs> Allegedly. Ah, yes! <laughs> I just feel like, <laughs> I just know that Kenya's phone is blowing up right now and Bravo is pissed. And honestly, I'm surprised the interview is still up. Who the f you think you are? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. I feel like Kia is doing the same thing that Portia Williams did before she announced that she wasn't coming back. And y'all was like, oh, Justin, you doing the most. Oh, she ain't going nowhere. And then boom. So all I'm saying is stay woke. <laughs> Team Troll, look, I know that we would all hate to see it, but I don't know, like, I honestly, personally, would not be surprised at all if next season, Kenya decided to sit this one out because 
the writings are on the wall. Comment right now and tell me what you guys think about all this. Do you think that is cool that Kenya Moore low-key sat down with the ops and just spent two hours of her time shading Bravo, her employer, or do you feel like she has the right to give her honest opinion, even if that includes saying that Real Housewives of Atlanta, the show that she's on, is basically a flop? And also tell me what else you enjoyed about Kenya's interview with The Key. And be sure to watch the full interview on Carlos's YouTube channel, child, because when I tell you, there is so much more tea. Thanks so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I really had a really great time making this one. So be sure to like this video and join the conversation below in the comments if you had a good time as well. Thanks again for watching. I will see y'all shady villains on the next one.